shut the hell up? I think it's real, dude. I think, dude, I think that's a real Rolex. back on the beach again we uh, had a bit of rain this morning as well I've already looked at it and uh, the conditions don't look great the cut has been pulled down quite a bit usually that kind of starts giving it a sanded in effect um, I'm gonna guess that uh, any targets that are out there are gonna be down low and uh, the tide's still relatively high so the cut itself is much less uh, pronounced and therefore guessing and only guessing that uh, it's going to just have too much sand up high to oh I got one guy down there I'll have to go see how he's doing I'm not sure if I recognize him or not but he's digging a hole that's a good sign and I do think I see uh, dig marks where he's already been down this area, so I might be a little late to the party, but I'm just gonna walk along the cut and then I'll walk down and see if I know him, number one, number two, if he's friendly, and number three, uh, how he's doing. Dude, that's awesome. I found one, dude, I found one the other day and I, 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 I it tested at 10 carat, but I don't think it's gold. It's heavy like gold, but it was brown. All right, I got a kind of horrible sounding sounds like iron um, it was a negative 15 uh, now it's a <laughs> now it's 55 to 98 so probably a 10 stake if I had to guess yeah now it's actually a 62 so maybe I don't know maybe maybe a big blob you're right oh it is a zinc penny <laughs> Boy, that sounded huge. Zinc penny, first target. All right, this is a great mid-tone. Negative one right now, but it sounds really good. It actually was uh, in the 20s originally. Now it's a one to six. Might be aluminum. Um, oh, 17. Uh, now it's bouncing up to 40. That's not a good sign when it gets up that high. All right. Ah, uh, it's one of those big, giant pull tabs. Look at this thing. The, the uh, transition from the ring pull to the uh, very beginnings of what the modern pull tab looks like. We'll keep that for the lineage of uh, pull tabs. All right. This thing's uh, acting like a mid-tone. Sounds really, really scratchy. Um, it was a... 26 to 35, kind of in that pull tab range. Um, oh, here comes a wave. Gonna make my life a little bit harder. Oh, it is going out though. Okay, it should be in the scoop. Kind of thinking blobby, right? To be totally honest with you. Sounds amazing. 31 pull tab range totally yep there it is pull tab there's no sunshine so I can't really show it in the light but that's as good as I can get it well I think my buddy just found a little piece of a ring it might be plated but you know, it looks kind of good I don't know He'll have to test it. Yeah. Definitely. You'll have to you'll have to watch it on Treasure Beeps to find out. Treasure Beeps. Treasure Beeps. All right, I think I just got a massive, massive blobby right. <laughs> oh, thank you guys for throwing your uh, cans in the fire. It really makes uh makes me not happy. Yeah, not happy. That's what it makes me. All right, my buddy's down there. Uh, sun just came out man it is beautiful 
just literally just popped out two minutes ago. The whole sky just kind of opened up. It was uh, absolutely hideous five minutes ago. What's left of the cut up there, really soft down below it, but now we're getting down to the low tide. I'm starting to get a little bit of iron and aluminum bits, so maybe, maybe we'll start getting things. I got a super loud 48 to 51, probably a blob right. Crazy loud. Crazy, crazy loud. Where are you, big blob? You're right. I know you're someplace. Oh, is that you? Yep, that's you right there. Yep, Bob, you're right. All right, whatever this sounded like a quarter, but I can see something sticking out that's obviously not a quarter. Um, it's some sort of a hook. Looks like Velcro. Probably from like a fisherman or something. Oh, I can see it. It's a line cutter. Look at that. There's a little blades inside there. I don't know if you guys can see those, but there's actually a little blade. So I'll bet you if you, you put a fishing line down there, it cuts it. And that's my theory. I'm going to look this up online because it's got a name on the, my knife is what it's called. It's not your knife, it's my knife. Look at these glasses my buddy just got. I think they're absolutely usable. I think he just got himself a brand new pair of glasses. Sweet. God, they're in great condition, man. <laughs> they must have just been dropped. Yeah. I got another really banged up zinc penny. Check out what my buddy just found. And I'll tell you, it's super, I mean, it's obviously can't uh you know show you but it's really heavy i think it was a knife at one point in time but if you look you can actually see details on it and i actually found uh, a piece of silver knife down not too long ago and and didn't even realize it was silver at first until i got it home so definitely would check it out it's really heavy that's cool i think i just dug a silver ring and i'm using my foot to cover it pretty sure there's a small silver ring right there All right, my buddy, I'll let him video it as well. Very purpley, so that's a good sign. Rang up like a zinc penny. penny. Oh man, can I? Can yeah, I? of course. Yeah, little little wedding band. Oh yeah. Or is that what, no, it's got like a high spot on it, huh? CTR. What is it? CTR. Oh, is that? Um... It looks silver. Yeah, it's definitely silver. God, I'd love that you have eyesight that can actually see that. Well, my phone's dead, so that's it. That's a video for me, but. Well, if you if you if you let me know, like if you find something good, I'll video it and then I can send it to you. Yeah, of course. So we were just talking about concretions, and check this out. This is exactly what I'm talking about. There's a pocket watch encased in this one. Nice. So the blades are iron, obviously, but if you look right here, you can actually see the the end of the pocket knife and you can see the handle which is obviously not iron and uh that's cool yeah i think that's so cool that's i keep that stuff in my office i think i have a zinc penny in here but the last one i thought was a zinc penny so i almost didn't film it at all until i saw a silver ring so pretty sure oh ha, that's funny I, i'm sure it's a junk ring but it is a ring um so that's a good sign yeah that's a titanium ring I'm not titanium, but uh, tungsten. Uh, it's got writing on the inside too. I love you. Well, it'd be nice if I could give it back to whoever loves it. I got another zinc penny. The last two rings I've gotten sounded exactly like zinc penny, so I'm obviously now digging them. Well, I got a junk heart. That means the beach loves me. Junk heart. Uh, that sounded really good. He's got a great sounding target right here. Come on. 
Come on. Show yourself. Come on. Oh shit. <laughs> I think it's fake link. Yeah, I think I saw I saw like gold on the yeah. side of it. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's got little stones, look. Yeah, little stones on it. Dude, you know what? It might be silver. I think it is silver. Yeah, yeah I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's silver, dude. Look how small this bling is he just found with his young eyes that were able to see it. And I just saw my friend Heavy Metal Dave down the beach. And he's digging some holes. Got a nice gold ring out here the other day. I got skunked. Him and, him and Daniel both got gold that day. And it really got pretty, man. It got, when we first were down here, it was horrible, but it got much prettier. All right. I think my buddy just got gold. It was a four five. Run it over. What's on yours? Ooh, it's jumping a negative, negative one, two. It's, it's got a little bit of, I think it's oh, a chain. It's, oh, it's gold. I think it's going to be an earring, you think, or you maybe a pendant. Look it out, Mike. Do oh, I better. think I see a pendant. For it. Okay, ready? All right, here's the reveal. Right there. Yeah. Oh, it is. It's a bracelet. <laughs> uh, nice. Oh, look at what got it, too. That, that's what you got right there. Is that, that clasp or maybe the sand right here? Yeah. Hell to the yeah. It's got... Uh, my eyesight's not that good. Let's check that out. What'd you get, dude? Uh, what is that? Uh, nope. Bling. Is it? Yeah. No, that's not bling, dude. Bling. No, it is not. Yeah, it's like Claire's. What? Do you uh, really think so? Heartbreaker. Are you sure? Yeah. Oh, I see it on the pen and it's losing a little bit of its gold. Oh, it is a heartbreaker. <laughs> Damn, that was so no. good looking. I actually have a quarter. Nice, you're on the board. I am shocked. I literally was just telling telling him that I thought it was going to be junk, but it actually is a quarter. So, yippee, I'm kind of thrilled with that. But I also have a little low tone over here. I got to fill this hole in, but that low tone over there, oh my goodness, does it sound good. What a heartbreaker on the clears, Jesus. I thought it was a high carry gold. Uh, all right, holes filled in. That's Negative like 13. Uh, bracelet looked like. What's that? It was like it, oh, it looked, yeah, no, it looked amazing. All right, here we go. This is a low tone. Negative 17. Still negative 17. There's multiple things over here. All right. I think there's multiple small targets. Oh, that sounds so good. Negative one now. I'm talking, it sounds, it sounds amazing. Oh, come on, be good. Be good to me, what are you? What are you? Oh, I think I see, oh, wait a minute. I think I see a cross, is that what this is? Oh, stainless steel cross. Oh, it sounded so good, look at this thing. <laughs> uh, well, it's jewelry, man, did that sound good. Ridiculously good, what is it on my detector out? 12, 12 which would have been perfect for a gold ring nice big one too it's a fat little fat fat ah oh it sounded so unbelievable when it came out it's nice it was right by the quarter too so i like when i was swinging for the quarters when i heard it i'm like ooh. all right i was just filling in that hole and hit uh things everywhere from a negative 17 to a 24 24 is pretty high for me i think it's already out so it's already out sounds really good mm. oh i 
I think that's gold. It's gold? it's a little piece of a ten carat ring. No way. Yeah, we got a little gold. That is part of a broken ten carat ring right there. Oh no doubt. We'll drop that little guy in some CLR, and we will reveal some gold. Boom. There you go, tiny, tiny. I am pretty certain that's what it is. I'd be mind blown if it isn't, but you know, I've been wrong before. So until we get it in the CLR, we won't really know, but it sure looks like that's what, uh, what we're talking about right now. Copper hook, <laughs> I don't know. All right, this one sounds, this one sounded amazing because it's a nickel. I'm going to go listen. He's got a tone that he's about to dig, so I'm going to go listen to it real quick. I hate these things. <laughs> <laughs> Dave, Dave just got a big concretion. Oh, your detector? Dave, Dave! <laughs> it was going. Thanks, buddy. No problem. I thought it was far enough away. All right, Dave almost lost the detector. I'm going to turn this off and turn it back on. All right, Ivan, it's got a target. And for me, it's a negative 18, negative 16, which is great. Is it? Oh, it sounds so good. It sounds good. All right, let's watch him. Come on, gold ring. Not clears. Come on. Ah. Aluminium maybe or? What do you think? Yeah. Oh, some sort of junk jewelry. Yeah. I have a negative 18 right here. Oh, did I already get it out? It should have been deep. Oh, it's blue. Whatever that is, it's blue, tiny blue painted blue. I don't know what that is, but it's, it's, oh, I think it's a tiny piece of silver with a blue, with a couple of blue stones in it. Silver? Tiny, tiny. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that looks, that's silver. Little tiny, tiny piece of silver with a couple of little blue, blue stones, maybe turquoise. Looks kind of like turquoise. What's that? Turquoise? I think it's like a little turk, maybe. You never know with like that, you know, kind of cheap silver jewelry. But it's going in the fines. And like I said, we couldn't hear that separated when the water was up here. Yeah. Yeah. I got a real quiet negative 17. Sounds really good. And again, for those who really hunt with VDIs, my numbers, if you see all this black sand, it affects heavily what our VDIs are. So it really isn't fair to kind of measure. I also hunt on all metal. So I'm picking up all the iron as well, but this thing sounds pretty darn good. I'm kind of thinking maybe right there. Yeah, I think it's gonna be a piece of a of uh, lead. Yep, lead. I'm gonna have a high tone here. 76 to 84, probably a quarter. I'm actually hoping for a dime because that would be my cycle. Oh, oh, I think I saw a dime. I think I got the cycle. Cycle! Very confused mid tone. Negative seven all the way to 33. Sounds pretty good now. Uh, I think I see a little copper grommet maybe. I don't know what that is, I think it is a copper gram grommet. Copper grommet? Yeah, I think that's what that is, pretty sure. It's a little copper grommet. All right, let's play, can you figure out what this is? That's right. It's part of some sunglasses with a working hinge. 
working hinge. Arr, arr, arr. <laughs> well, that's a tiny copper screw. Now, it sounds like a coin in here now. Yeah, like I see maybe a copper penny. Maybe. Yeah, I think that's what that is, a copper penny. There you go. All right, a lot of, a lot of green stuff stuck to its back. Yeah, it must have waddled up against something else that stuck to it, because if you look, there's <laughs> definitely more to it than an actual penny. Oh, and I dropped it. And I'm going to get it out of the... And it's back. So I just got a double gold whammy from both Dave and... Oh my God, look how deep this was. All right, where am I looking? I'm looking where... Oh, I see it right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Look at that. I see gold from here over here. Let's see, and then we're going to see what Dave got too. All right, let's go for it. Do me the honor, Dave. Oh, yeah, baby. Go for it, Dave. Do me the honor, Dave. Dave's going to pull it. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. that look how deep he went. Oh, it's deep. high. It's looking pretty color, too. Ooh, Ooh I'm oh, betting yeah. that's 18. Way to go. You've got the good eyes. It's, uh... Oh, Dave got diamonds. Oh, that. That's oh, nice and that's one. a heavy one, too. Ooh, yeah. Nice job, guys. I was almost ready to give up on it because it was a chirping, you know, all over the place. The only reason I dug it because it was a... Eh, ooh. Nice job, boys. Which one is this? The Same as yours. Nice job. Look at Dave. It's got the diamonds. Got the sparklies in there. Very sparkly. And look at this. I'm calling 18K. We're going to have him give it a look-see. but Stamped I Stamped 18K. It's got a 18K. Stamp, I, I, can't... Yeah, I think that's what's left of a silver earring. I can see a little stone in the middle of it, right there. Now this one's acting like a nickel. And I am cooking in my sweatshirt right now. Just so, in case anybody's worried about it. Now it's a negative 17, which is actually getting a little to the better side of things. There's big iron right next to it. Okay, maybe out. Sounds really pretty good. Oh. oh, what is that? Oh, it's a screw. <laughs> I got screwed again. It's a nickel. Crusty nickel for sure. So I just want to say there's a reason we call him Heavy Metal Dave. He likes to deny it, but he finds a lot of gold. He kind of is quiet about it. He like, he's Stealth Dave. Stealth Heavy Metal Dave. Hell yeah, buddy. Dude, that's a nice one. Oh, all sorts of writing on in there. It doesn't happen very often. What do you mean? It doesn't happen. <laughs> I don't believe him. <laughs> all right. Ivan just got, Ivan just got a silver ring as well. There you go. That is definitely a silver a Are silver you, toe ring. 800. 800. Silver toe ring in the scoop. Now let me take my stuff off. All right, Ivan just gave me the gold sign. He's in the exact same spot almost where he was the last one. And I see the edge right there. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You can see it right there, and it's got a stone in it. Give me the honors. All right, Ivan says go for it. We're gonna do a little bit of poking out. I can see a little stone that's a little ruby. Nice. Yeah, still on my bucket list. I've never found a ruby ever. Ivan, Ivan, I'm Randy. Randy, nice to meet you, Randy. Dude, nice. Boom. Yeah. Woo. yeah, baby. Check that out. Oh, yeah. I little just, ruby. I just went over this. I, I didn't hear it. It might, you know what? It might be copper. No, that looks All right, I see a ring down here. That looks gold. Ivan says gold. 
I'm thinking copper. I'm thinking small copper ring. It's copper? That's what I think. But it might be gold. I don't know. It looks. Can you see? Looks coppery to me. I think it's a copper ring. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I don't like the solders. It's silver too. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of thinking. Yeah, it might be copper actually. Thinking kind of coppery. All right. I may or may not filmed that last little ring I got, which I do not think is gold, but it acted like it was gold. This is a 15. Now it was a 15. Now it sounds. Now it's a negative one. It should be out. 19 sounds amazing. It'd be nice. Ah, I think I see another junk ring. Another junk ring. Copper. Copper? Copper ring. All right, let's see what Ivan. On the, on the mark. Ooh. Wait, where are you at? I was gonna say I'm not hearing much. <laughs> Ooh. Negative 15 to negative 16 right there. Yeah, mine's is a like a five? Three, four, five. Could this be the it still sounds good. It would have it would have showed up already. Copper. 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 Uh, sounds so good. All right, Dave the other day said he's not finding any gold, but then today, well, actually the last couple times he showed up, oh, he's looking, he's looking like this one's something big and special. I don't know. He's, he's got a look about this one. This one looks like it's a monster because I can see it all the way down the beach. Watch your, hey Randy, watch your, watch your stuff. Yeah, I got it. Oh, it looks big. Oh, that's nice and fat. Dave. Oh yeah, look at that. Wow, what is that? It's like a family crest. I don't know. I, I think you've now become <coughs> the uh, Prince of Servenia. Because you just got this, you're now the Prince of Servania. If you own this ring, you are a Prince of Sylvania. <laughs> that is, that's the rules. Um, wow, it looks like old gold. I'm not seeing any marking in it. All right, finally I have a gold ring. Finally. It's right there. I can see it right there on the edge. I'm going to let Ivan do the, uh, do the pull. Yeah. You see it right there? Yeah, I no, you're almost there. Come towards you. Come towards right you. Oh, oh yeah. It looks like a little one, oh, but it's yeah. still. That's not a little one. Oh, right? wait a minute. Oh, did I finally oh, get rubies? Nice. Oh my did god. Did I get rubies? Oh, doggy. I finally got the rubies. <laughs> All right. Shut the front door. Dang it, dude. Oh, I'm so happy. I finally got my rubies. Yippee! Nice job. Bucket list. <laughs> oh, I don't think Randy knows the signals. <laughs> He's like, oh, okay. He's like, okay, whatever. <laughs> All right, nice job. Oh, finally, man. Jeez. I think it's 14 just based on color, but I don't know. You've got eyes. I don't. But I'm just so thrilled I got a ruby. Solder mark for sure. I've been, I've been, I've been uh, complaining about not getting a ruby. Yeah, nice. 14 carats. Woo! Ruby. Yeah. And diamond chips. <laughs> Boy, I don't know what I'm seeing down here, but I almost think that might be maybe a 10 carat ring or something. Oh, maybe not. I don't know. That's an odd one. It, uh, I will tell you, quite frankly, I have found 10 carat with the same attributes. I'm going to put that in the in the good zone and i'll put it in clr it's definitely some sort of jewelry i think it might have actually been a watch at one point in time um 
yeah it was actually i'm pretty sure that was a small women's watch so we'll drop that in clr i don't i'm kind of starting to think it's going to be copper with plating on it so you probably should start here first you should huh? you should start here first with the lowest and work your way up to the best okay so you start with me and then go to ivan and then go to dave okay dave's had a good day dave's had a very good day okay, okay. we're gonna look at yeah that is fantastic. we're gonna look at dave's dave's little plethora that's beautiful this is this is just that's got to be really old family crafts yeah this one is that one gold yeah diamonds too well, I see the diamonds. I didn't know it's yeah, it's, four, it's yeah, it's marked 14 karat. Cool, boy. Dave is having a day and a half. The legends are going out. No, I just Ivan. I'm Ivan the terrible. I'm renaming Dave. He's no longer heavy metal Dave. He's mega metal Dave. Hey. <laughs> that is a 26, which is pretty high for anything really good. I'm thinking it's going to be a maybe a screw. It's a pretty solid 26 maybe a nickel probably actually a nickel i'm thinking yeah nickel i see it whatever it's one of those creepy ones it's looking sideways and yeah, i think it's a regular one yeah regular old jefferson nickel which i like to see him looking to the side not looking at me and creeping me out i have a nice negative 19 negative 18 negative 19 sounds great there's high tone right next to me just put my uh coil right on top of it so it starts screaming every time i put my coil over there it's there's a high tone right there and right there i have this one out and it sounds good and now it's starting to sound like a screw negative uh something to 20 negative i think 16 to 26 and i think i see a piece of copper wire oh you foolish copper wire because it fools me a lot all right ivan just gave me another gold signal and uh we're gonna go see what ivan found Eight, all the way through all the way through an eight and i'm looking my right in the middle. blind little eyes oh i'm over here shoot okay no, right here. oh i see it right you want me to go for it do it do the honors all right here we go here we go Ooh, i like it too it looks like a nice fat little oh yeah it's already out. no I, I took it out but yeah i dug it Oh, he dug it. I'm just, I'm just his retriever. It helps me feel like I'm getting a lot of gold when I dig out Ivan's gold. <laughs> All right, Ivan's got the eyes, but I'm thinking 14K and heavily tarnished from being out here forever. It looks uh, 14, maybe 10. Yeah. I think, I think it's 14. 14. Yeah, I think it's, I think it's just been tarnished. I haven't found. I don't a see any green. I have not found a band in so long, so it's. Oh yeah. Uh, 14. 14. Told yeah. you so. Here, I'll do a little quickie too. Hold on. Now, I had a great little signal coming out of there. I think this is going to be a, uh, pretty sure there's going to be a nickel. Yep, there it is, right there. Nickel. Especially deep nickels, they sound amazing. Started out as a negative 19. Try to get in the sunlight. There you go. I see Jim just pulled up. I'm going to go see how my friend Jim is doing. He's wearing his great cow cow boots. Love those things. I didn't wear mine this morning because I was going to be out here uh, in the ocean, which I was. But now I'm regretting not having them for sure. All right, I have an unbelievably good sounding 17 right here. Oh, it sounds so good. It almost sounds too good. Why don't you guys listen to this? 16, 17 still. Oh, I see gold. I see gold. I see gold right there. 
I'm gonna wait till Jim looks over here. Jim's deeply involved in finding something. Oh, Jim's video. Oh, I can see the gold sticking out right there. Let's see if what that is. Ooh, I think it's a ring. Oh, it is a ring. It's a ring. And Jim says, it's a ring. It's a ring. Well, it's you, a ring. See it? You gotta go for it. It's a ring. I love it. <laughs> All right. It, get the oh, hell out. Okay. You got a red stone finally. No. That is the weirdest thing in the world. This is my second red stone today. Oh, no way. Oh my gosh, that is That's my second beautiful. red stone. That is a beautiful ring. Let's see, let, let's see how it looks with this one. Oh, look at you. You got some rings already. How does that look together? Are they, are they a decent little combo? Oh, yeah. Very, very nice. I've been complaining about not getting red stones. Yeah. Well, there you go. All right, Randy's got gold. Oh, I see, I see it sticking right out, and it looks like a pretty fat band to me. Oh, yeah. Oh, God, Randy. Yeah. That gold. Oh, that's gold. Yeah. No, it's just like his. It's just tarnished. That, Man. it looks exactly like, um, that looks exactly like that oh, gold bracelet I just got. No, that's gold. Yeah, that's gold. Guaranteed. Is it? Yeah, I guarantee it. 100%. 10K? No, 14. Yeah, it's gonna be 14 karat gold. Good job. Finally. Good job, Randy. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the party. Yeah, that's gonna be old 14. I guarantee it. Yeah, you it's get just. One yet? No, not yet. I got a junker. It took me a long time to get. <laughs> yeah. You worked hard for that one. Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna be yeah. old 14 karat. So I was yeah, telling Dave. I, I was telling Dave the same thing. Uh, barkeeper's friend. Oh yeah, yeah. Bar yeah, field. I just got another gold <laughs> signal from down here, so. We're gonna walk down there and go see what the what the gold is. Brad got oh, gold. Go. Look at Brad. Oh yeah, it's man. It's I don't it's care. It's a gold, gold ring. Huh? It's a gold ring. Any way you slice yeah. it. And then he found a chunk. Oh oh! Did he get what? Did you get my bucket list? Did you really get my bucket list? I got some some ten k. Oh too. geez, yeah. There you go. Took a ten k. Hey, did you get my bucket list? Do That's you, the emerald on do there. Do you feel good about getting an emerald? <laughs> That's my birthstone, man. It just came to me. Look at that! Look at that emerald. Yeah, it's emerald. Green. All right, here we go with another wrap up. We got a lot of iron this time. Um, that beach is covered in iron, and a lot of times, just to get the good targets out, you have to get rid of the iron that's laying on top. So I dug a lot of iron, did get a lot of blobberites too. Look at the size of this thing. It's huge. Yeah, it's awesome when people put their cans in the fire because um, that's what comes out. And then they uh, get in the ocean and we find them and they sound really good. I did get quite a few fishing weights, um, mostly little ones. They sound really good. Again, a lot of this copper can sound amazing as well. Uh, these things will actually fool me. They'll sound just like a ring uh, if they're laying in the right direction. A lot of little screws. Other things that sound great are zipper poles, little electric con uh, connections, and these little flat pieces of copper can just sound awesome. So can these little grommets. Um, I, I dig it this as well, and I looked it up on the internet. I can't find it anywhere, but I believe it's a fishing line cutter. If you look, there's a little... Two little blades right there. When I look up my knife, everything in the world other than that comes up. So I'm not able to find it, but I am assuming that that is a fishing tool for cutting your line. I did get a total of five pennies. I got uh, a total of eight nickels because I was primarily shooting mostly for mid-tones and low-tones. I did get two dimes. I also got a quarter, but it's not here because I gave it to a little girl that was digging for treasure. She was seeing us dig all sorts of holes. And so she was out there digging. So I thought, oh, I'll bury a quarter for her. And uh, she did find it. So she was excited to have treasure, which means I no longer have a quarter, but it does qualify as having found the cycle. All right, let's talk about the good stuff. All right, well, actually, I want to talk about this. I get these a lot, and they can sound amazing as well. But these are parts of sunglasses, and a lot of times you actually find them in the hinge, like in this case, still works. But a lot of times you just find this little hinge piece, and those sound amazing. Another little thing that I want to point out, because I get a lot of these, these are the ends of pocket knives. And uh, 
they also sound amazing, but you find them a lot out there. A little, just a little tip of a pocket knife. Um, so there you go. All right, let's talk junk jewelry. Well, the beach still loves me. I did get a junk heart. Uh, I did get three junk rings. One of them is tungsten. Uh, this one broke pretty much right after I got it out of the ground, but it did come out of the ground complete. So uh, I'm calling that a ring. Now it's just half a ring. I did get the stainless steel cross as well. Um, <laughs> this thing sounded perfect. Um, and then it's just a real, you know, lunky uh, stainless steel cross. Uh, if I did get uh, this little silver earring or part of a silver earring, um, I did get this little piece of tiny silver with a little bit of some sort of blue stones on it. And I got this little silver earring, or sorry, silver ring. Um, not very heavy, but it was kind of my first decent find. Um, I did put uh, what I thought was a 10 karat piece in CLR, and you can now see the coppers coming through. This is not 10 karat. It was just something that was plated at one point in time. I also put that portion of a watch in CLR, and it came out, and you can tell that was also plated at one point in time. And then I just noticed this when I was getting all this stuff out, and I think this is actually going to prove to be a very tiny piece of broken 10 karat gold. Um, yeah, they usually usually don't fare well out there. So we'll jump drop that in CLR and see if it's real or not, but uh, probably take a couple hours. This was a 10 karat um, piece of a class ring that I did just put in CLR It's from an earlier hunt, but this thing was completely green. You couldn't even see hardly any of the gold. And so, um, you know, once you put it in the CLR, sure enough, the gold is revealed. And then lastly, I got this one first. Um, and I believe they're garnets, not rubies. But for me, it's still uh, red stones. I, you know, I've found lots of sapphires, tons of diamonds. Um, but for whatever given reason, the red stones have been elusive. So... Um, I do believe these are garnets just because of their color. I'll, I'll have somebody look at it at some point in time. I'm not a gemologist, so I don't know for sure. But I got this, and then soon after, I got this one. So kind of neat that I got two red stones. Now, the diamonds in the littler of the two are real diamond chips. The, the, these guys in this one are real diamond chips. The other one are um, cubic, you know, cubic zirconia. So uh, one with you know, diamond chips, one without. I do believe they're both going to be garnets just because of their colors, but still very excited to get some red stones out of the ground. So we will take it, and we'll take it as a win. Obviously, the guys were out there just doing amazing. I even got three gold rings. Um, one of them was an 18 karat, just beautiful ring, the first one he found. And then Dave got uh, three gold rings, all of which were really nice. The The first one had just bunch of diamonds in it real heavy and then got a what looks like a family crest with a knight on a horse that just looks really old and really cool and very heavy I have not talked to Dave to figure out exactly how heavy it is but I would guess it was probably at least 10 11 grams um, and then I think everybody else got gold so I know Jim got some gold after I had left so I think everybody was on the beach got did get some gold that day if you guys are interested in CKG products there is a link in the description of this video you guys can go there order Anything from their uh, catalog, I will tell you, I absolutely love the company, love the guys. They're very responsive, and uh, Dimitri is awesome. So uh, if you guys want a great scoop from a great company, uh, or even digging tools, they've got pouches, they've got all sorts of great stuff. So go ahead and go into this description of this video, and you can hit the uh, CKG link. Also, Tony Eisenhower Waterproof Headphones as well. All right, a lot of people have asked me how to get a Pirate Mike t-shirt, and for a long time I was trying to, you know, ship them from here, and oftentimes I didn't order enough to have the right sizes for people, and it was getting just cost prohibitive, and the shipping was crazy expensive, and um, so I did uh, get to a point where, and also my printer said he couldn't make the small batches I was ordering, so um, I did set it up where you can directly link from all my videos to uh, Spring. And Spring uh, has all sorts of cool stuff, like check my coffee out. Pretty cool. Um, and you can get all the stuff on the Spring site. And uh, I will try to set up a link where you guys can uh, just go ahead and click at the end of the video. But if I don't have that up soon, just know that all the videos do have a link to the uh, shirts.
If you have problems finding it, go ahead and put it in the comment and I'll uh, see if I can get you a direct link to it. Hey guys, Pirate Mike here. Just wanna say thank you guys so much for watching. I have no idea why I do this, but every time I find a half dollar at the beach, I stick it in my eye. Again, I sure hope you like my channel and thank you again for watching and for subscribing. I really, really appreciate it. love it if you guys would subscribe you can just click on my head right here or you can watch either of these two videos <laughs>